Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's if you're new, my name is Lola. I make YouTube videos. Today I'm going to be doing my makeup. This is just a, like a little bit get ready with me. I'm going to be filming a lot of videos today, so I'm just going to like film me getting ready to film the other videos if that makes sense so if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and let's get right into the video okay so i have my little mirror here and it has this led lighting around it which is really cool and you just tap it on and off so that's right here in front of me okay so i already have some makeup on my forehead so i'm not going to be doing makeup there today because I have this pimple and I really don't want it to start to show through the makeup if I keep adding stuff on. So we're just going to work around my forehead and kind of like just bronze it but not putting anything else on it. So I'm starting off with this Maybelline New York Baby Skin Primer. I'm almost out of this but this is literally the best primer in the world. It is so soft. It's almost a dupe for the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. If you're looking for a drugstore dupe, I'd highly recommend this one. I just put that in my T-zone. Usually I would put that in my forehead, but I already did that today. Now I'm moving on to um, tinted moisturizer. As I said in a previous video, I don't wear foundation. Uh, most of the time I just wear tinted moisturizer. So this one is by ColourPop. This is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer. And this is the shade Light 7W. Usually I apply this with just my fingers because it kind of absorbs too much into the sponge. So I just put some on the back of my hand like that and then kind of just rub that in all over my face. Since it is a moisturizer, it's easier to rub in on like foundation, which is something that you would more use a beauty blender with or a brush. I still use a beauty blender after I use my fingers just to make sure everything is seamless. Um, but it just, it feels a little bit better to rub it in with my fingers than um, a brush. Also, since it is a moisturizer, it's a little bit streaky when you use a brush. So I tend to not use brushes at all for this product. Alright, so now that that's mostly rubbed in, I'm just going to take this beauty blender and kind of just make sure everything is blended in seamlessly. And blend it on my neck, of course. Now that I have this tinted moisturizer blended in, I am going to be using Maybelline New York Concealer. This is a little dark, but I'm not really doing like a full face of makeup today like I am, but I'm not doing like full coverage type of beat. So I'm just going to be doing a little bit under my eyes just to conceal and not brighten, just to kind of conceal my little dark circles. Then I'm just blending this in with the Beauty Blender. And then doing the same for the other side. And then for the portion of the concealer that's right here in my inner corners, I'm just going to be blending that onto my eyelid. Um, and that serves as a, a primer for my eyelids as well. Alright, so now that that's blended in, before I go ahead and set everything, I'm going to be using this... Glossier Cloud Paint Liquid Blush. So I usually just put this on my finger to blend it in. Um, it is really, really pigmented, so when it's too much, I just blend it with, honestly, both of my hands. I just kind of put it on my face. I love this blush. I, I did my grandma's makeup one time, and I had used this blush on her. She was literally obsessed with this blush she bought it like two minutes after i used it on her she literally loves it so much okay so now i'm just gonna blend that all in like this for powder today i'm gonna be using this charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish complexion perfecting micro powder so this is two medium i'm just taking this morphe brush and for my under eyes i'm just setting it like this and then i'll use it a bigger brush for the rest of my face all right and then for the rest of my face i'm going to be using this morphe brush these came in a set so they don't actually have the numbers on them which is kind of weird but this is from morphe and i'm using the same powder and i'm just going to be setting the rest of my face 
again going kind of around that pimple because I don't want to touch it too much because then it'll start to break away through the makeup and I'm going back in with this small brush and this powder and just setting this on my eyes to set the concealer that we put there moving on to bronzer I use this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer this is my favorite 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 bronzing brush of all time this is the morphe m530 brush it is literally the best brush you will ever ever use in your entire life for bronzer it's so amazing all right and then for my forehead again just going to be really careful with this going around the perimeter of my face and making sure it's all connected And then kind of just putting the excess on my nose. I don't really do a whole bunch of nose contour, um, but I do just put a little bit of whatever's left on my brush on my nose. All right, and then for eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Chocolate. And I don't really do a lot with my eyebrows. Honestly, just kind of fill them in a little bit and then put brow gel on them. I've been doing really really natural brows lately um i kind of like it my eyebrows are kind of sparse so it does make it a little bit difficult when i'm trying to do like a super natural look because i feel like my eyebrows look like way too natural and like they look like they're not filled in at all and like i forgot a step i've been doing more of a natural look lately just kind of like that as you can see i mean i don't really fill in, in a whole bunch but just a little bit to kind of make the color come back. So next, I always do brow gel. I love this one from e.l.f. This is just the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara Duo. And I don't actually use the lash side. I only use the brow side. But it is really good. Alright, next I'm going to do a highlighter. And I have this little Baby Becca one. This is in Opal. It's all broken, but whatever. And then I'm using the Morphe R36 highlighting brush. I love this brush. It's so good. So now onto kind of like the final steps of my face on my eyes. I'm going to be using this Madison Beer X Morphe palette. Literally so beautiful. So proud of our girl Mads for that. Then I'm going to be using this Morphe R40 brush and just dipping in to this shade right here as a transition shade all over my crease. With the Morphe X Jeffree Star brush, I'm going to be going in with this shade and this shade right here and kind of just darkening up my outer lid. Alright, so it's a little bit darkened up now, but now I need to blend it. So I'm going to be using the same Morphe R40 brush from the first shade and just blending those two together with nothing new on the brush. Alright, and then I'm just going in with one of these little brushes. This one is from Chanel, and I'm just going to put a little bit of glitter on it. Not a whole bunch, so I'm going to be taking this gold shade right here. Not like super pigmented, just a little bit of something to add onto my lid. Just in the middle. Alright, and then with a smaller brush, this one is also from Chanel. I'm going to be taking it the first two shades, this one and this one, and just putting those under my eye on my lower lash line. Just to kind of darken things up, I love a lower lash line dark. Um, I think it just really adds definition to your eye and it makes it look so pretty. So that is it for the eyes, just something really subtle and natural. And then I'm going to go in with the same brush that I put the glitter on and using this lighter shade up at the top. Um, and I'm going to put this in my inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. And I'm also going to take the same white shade here and put this on my brow bone. 
All right, and now I'm going to be curling my eyelashes. I usually do fake lashes or I have lash extensions on, but at the moment I don't have any of those on right now and I'm not going to be putting on um, strip lashes just because I have things to do today and I don't want them to get in the way or I I'm not trying to like look super fancy today so I just want to do some mascara. And then for mascara, this is my ride or die. Love this mascara till I die, literally. Um, this is the L'Oreal Waterproof Telescopic Mascara. This makes my eyelashes look so long and so separated. So beautiful all around. All right, so you can tell like they're super long and overall just good so i put on my jewelry just to go to the bodega okay i'm gonna do my other eye and then i'll be right back okay so my top lashes are done love the way they look super long whatever so now i'm gonna be using the same mascara for my bottom lashes and i really try to not get it like on you know like stamping it because it is waterproof and it's really hard to take off. So I really just try to coat the lashes and not touch my skin. I have the coffee shakes right now, but I'll live. Okay, so lashes are done. That's what they look like. Last but not least are lips. Um, this is just a lip liner in pink nude. So I only overline my lips. I actually don't ever not overline my lips. I really want lip filler. I kind of just go like right above the lip line. And then what I do is I blend it in with my finger. And then I take my favorite Anastasia lipstick. This is the Anastasia Spice Matte Lipstick. And it is a little bit darker than my lip liner, so what I do is I kind of just dab it on and then rub it together. Alright you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.